Okay, so today we are going to be taking a look at a black market which has spiked over the past couple of days and nearly doubled in value. I have no idea what's going on. Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic and safe day as always. And today we're going to be trying to bust a myth, which I have no idea what's even happening. So this black market right here came out in the victory crate in 2018. And for some reason, literally three years later, this thing has been blowing up the market. I have no idea why. Just like this titanium white airstrike, we are going to be giving away this full entire Fennec bundle when the channel actually creeps over to 340k subs. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you are subscribing if you're new. Turn on post notifications because you're going to see daily Rocket League content. Looking back at the original video, it has 200 likes that's adorable so let's go for like 3,000 likes in the first 24 hours that'd be amazing and yeah let's jump straight into it quickly before we do jump into this video i'd love to give a huge shout out to the fan favorite sponsor on the channel aoa.com so i've been working with these guys for several years now and they're the fastest and most reliable place to pick up any rocket league item and by using the code in the description you are going to get yourself six percent off every single purchase okay so at the time of recording this i do not have a storm watch like every single one on the market right now wants an absolute ton because of the massive spike so we're gonna use some old footage because i'm pretty sure they haven't changed it like in game and this thing is actually so so underrated i'm not gonna lie but yeah yesterday in the group chat that i'm in on discord i got sent this where yeah you could just see the spike that the storm watch has had and it's just so random because every other black market in the game has literally been dropping like i have no idea why on earth a storm watch has started blowing up normally the only sort of reason it can actually happen is because a pro player is using it but i have no clue if a pro player is using a storm watch it's so old and someone surely would have been using it by now but yeah obviously like the orange your bands that arsenal's using that's popped off for that reason but there's not really any other items that have been popping off except for it it's just so weird to me definitely leave a comment down below if you have any theories yeah checking the spreadsheet last night and also this morning it's the same price and it's actually gone down a bit so maybe it's a one hit wonder no clue but it's just so random to me like there's so many black markets in the game you know maybe dissolver with a spike up because that's probably like the best looking in a lot of people's opinions maybe instellar but a storm watch it's just it's just so random because it's been in the game for such a long time and honestly no one even talks about it anymore yeah like i said leave a comment down below if i'm missing something because i can't get i literally can't put my finger on it why this thing has been rising and literally when i'm nearly double the value in like two or three days it's just a madness honestly but yeah we're gonna go through some trades i've been doing recently because the market is starting to actually get less boring you know there's stuff that's starting to rise and unlike black dice they're not really doing anything right now selling this one right here for just over 46k pure is fine with me checking the spreadsheet right there i do believe yeah it's been the same price for a very long time so just above the maximum value definitely not gonna say no so next up we are going to be selling a black market which i've had for such a long time but it's honestly really ugly in my opinion it's going to be black 20xx on the spreadsheet right now yeah getting myself technically the maximum value definitely not gonna say no but for the storm watch if you want to buy it i would say stay away right now just because it's like peaked and it's only going to be probably dropping. I really don't know because the market is so ridiculous on this game right now. So it could start rising again, but I just wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't really pay that sort of value just because it just seems way too high for its own good right now. So yeah, once again with the black dice, it's not really doing anything. And the fact that they were 50 and now I've been dropping a little bit. I just want to get in gone for pure credits. Yeah, got myself 21k a white octane, which right now on a spreadsheet has stayed the same. But it's going to be about 23k. And also a pink dominus, which is about just over 5k right now. So added up in total, that's going to be 21 44 and yeah close to 50,000 credits for it which like i said i see people selling them for like i think like 45 46 now for exo and the fact that it's uh really really bad certification so i honestly don't mind about that so yeah definitely not gonna say no so next up we have got the og trader coming through right here matthew i've seen this guy literally all over the place he's a really rich trader knows what he's doing and he literally wanted to get his very last striker burnt sienna item for the full entire rlcs wheel set i do believe so yeah he needed the apex and was trying to pay i think it was 7.5 to 8.5 but all of them got snagged on reddit i do believe and yeah it came to me because i've got two of them and yeah 10,000 credits was what i was agreed on i checked in their spreadsheet that's nearly quadruple times the maximum value at least anyway which is obviously i'm not going to complain about it i bought these striker ones for like a parallax back in the day when apex were really cheap i've had these apex for such a long time so yeah definitely can't complain oh so yeah with white octanes right now i do believe they are selling for about twenty three thousand credits and i sold all of my other ones for 23.5 but that was like a week ago and the demand has just been slipping ever since so yeah getting this right here is completely fine first of all we got what is it 22.6 thousand credits which is like okay that's like 400 away and then we get a big splash which realistically it's going to be about okay i'll probably wait for about a thousand credits at least and then also a random saffron rcs 
which in total is going to be about 1.4, 1.5. So that's like 24k right there. You know, that is completely fine with me. So I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I get like item ads on top of trades for like white ox days, etc. I just try and get ads gone immediately for pure credits just because then I'm satisfied and I can like work it out for the credits pretty much. But yeah, I just probably shouldn't have done this because Dominus right now, like you saw, it's been climbing a bit on the spreadsheet. And that's what I can say. I feel like items are going to start going up right now. Like most of them in the game. I've seen stuff like, I don't know, Julian Dragon started going up a bit in demand, which it was a given. Like Julian Dragon is the most expensive and popular black market in the game. And 3,000 credits is way too cheap for it. But yeah, I feel like now is a perfect time. I've got 300,000 credits pure. So I'm probably going to start going crazy very, very soon. All right. So I feel like I do need to explain this because it's literally like 50-50, which was amazing for me. But yeah, I bought this thing for the video I uploaded yesterday, which was obviously the April Fool's prank, where basically I acted like I got a Titanium White Dominus and a Titanium White Octane within five drops. So if I got you, then... I mean, I'm proud of myself because there was loads of comments saying, oh my God, you're so lucky. But then half was saying like April Fool's. So I feel like I did a good job. I'm not going to lie. I basically edited it where like I put in a different clip and I had to literally buy items to make the car setups believable. But yeah, it was a really fun video to actually record and I hope you guys did enjoy it. So make sure to definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. For the very last trade, this is the one benefit I get out of using Rocket League Garage. You could sometimes find people like this where this guy was paying 500 per for these random items. So these black wheels on the spreadsheet literally literally doing nothing and then a pink imperator which i do believe came to the item shop so he may have been buying it for that reason i really don't know but yeah but it's paying 500 for that and i was just like right okay definitely not going to complain about it because i've got literally like i think like how many like i think i've got 600 imports then 1100 very rares so i mean i could probably get quite a lot of credits out of that so if you do want to buy anything that's not like haunted hallows or secret santa and you're paying maximum value definitely get in contact with me because i want to try and sell a load of stuff so yeah these are my socials i'm going to try and like answer dms a lot more but honestly right now we're doing daily videos it is quite difficult i'm not going to lie but i'm going to try my best obviously instagram i probably use the most then we got twitter and then obviously tiktok if you like at me in videos etc i'll definitely try and reply but basically i don't really want to try and sell like striker stuff that's like og cray like haunted hallows and secret santa like i said already but random stuff you know from pc etc that you obviously want to buy for maximum value and that it's painted definitely let me know yeah if you are new around here and want to stick around for daily rocket league content you know we do trading stuff all of the time on the channel trying to teach you how to make a ton of profit make sure i subscribe and it's completely free and you can always change your mind and yeah dropping a like on a video is free always helps out the channel so yeah i guess i'll see you all tomorrow if you're gonna cut me down